You wouldn't stand in front of a speeding car. You wouldn't microwave a cup of tea. You wouldn't feed the pigeons. Car theft. Don't take the risk. Just kidding. But here's my story. Last summer there was a strange occurring recurrence in my car. Several mornings when I got into it I found the contents of the glove box and door pockets and such like strewn across the passenger seat willy nilly. Not as I'd left them neat and tidy. Luckily there isn't anything of value in the car other than this. But it was still a worry. At first I thought I might have forgotten to lock it when I came home from work late the night before. But I double checked every night after that and it kept happening. So who could be doing this? Some thug that I roughed up way back? I needed to know. So I took measures. And installed a dash cam. And this is what I found. If you look closely, you can see a tea leaf opening my neighbour's car remotely, after being in mine, and having a shufty around and then legging it like the coward he is. What was he doing? Keyless theft. Back in the day, if a thief wanted to break into your car without damaging it, they'd need to collect and carry a whole ring of keys around with them like this. Or, if the myths are true, half a tennis ball to get in a 205 GTI. But times have changed. Now all they need is a transponder device. These can be bought cheaply online and operate by triggering your key from outside the house which sends a signal to unlock the car and in they go. After we discovered this was happening near us we informed the police of the git that was doing it but all they told us was that they were aware of the person and the breakings continued. Luckily our cars only had keyless entry and not keyless ignition so the most they got away with was some parking tickets and a chapstick but others may not be so lucky. In the end we found the solution. These are Faraday pouches. They prevent any signal escaping from the key fobs into the tea leaves hands. Every evening when we come home from work we slip our keys in here. We even got a box to put the spares in just in case. And since then there's been no more break-ins. All has been safe, all is well and we've all lived happily ever after. The boxes and pouches are available cheaply from Amazon and the link will be in the description as always. And that concludes our bedtime story for today. We are Van Life UK, a complete survivor's guide. Good night and please subscribe.